my name is Manjira and I am here to present on the topic food preservation by, di uh, by different physical methods. So this is the table of the content. First we will understand what is physical method and then we will look upon the different physical methods applied and a brief principle about them. So first thing, what are physical methods? When we say physical methods, it refers to the physical treatments which has employed to inhibit, destroy or remove the undesirable microorganism and there is no involvement of any antimicrobial compounds or their products or any chemical preservative etc. And the methods would include common things, common physical methods would be like use of low temperature, high temperatures, reduction of water activity, pressure treatments etc. And we will be going through each of them one by one. So first is food protection by low temperature. Now coming to low temperature as the name indicates, here we tend to decrease the temperature of the food product. It could be either by two methods, chilling or freezing. First we will understand chilling. When we say chilling, it means chilling or cold storage. Here we tend to decrease the temperature of the food product which is like the temperature could be around 0 to 5 degrees Celsius and it needs to be above the, floor, uh, above the freezing temperature. And it is employed for different food products like some fresh fish, seafood, cut fruits and vegetables, RP products, etc. In this case, uh, there is not particular killing of the microorganism, but there is delayed growth and which in turn reduces the spoilage of the food product. Then here it prevents the growth of mesophiles and what cyclotrops grow in that microflora. Now one thing is that in case of chilling, there is cold storage, uh, sorry, in case of chilling, there is a uh, defect which can happen is cold shock, which means the temperature is not gradually lowered down, but there is immediate decrease in temperature, which in turn would cause uh, discoloration of the surface of the food product, or there could be some uh, disintegration of the surface, there could be some changes on the surface of the food product, maybe some browning would happen, or some leak, or uh, occurrence of some force on the food product and it is not very much suitable for the tropic foods, tropical foods. Now coming to other method which is freezing method. In case of freezing, as the name indicates, here the product is, has, uh, is to be frozen down. It is brought down to such a temperature that below its freezing point that water present in its, ma the maximum water present in its tends to uh, freeze down to ice crystals. Here it could be done in two ways, quick freezing and slow freezing. As the name will indicate, quick could be immediate and slow could take ten, uh, ten to take time. Quick freezing is preferred because in this case there is formation of small unit ice crystals which is uniformly distributed throughout the food product. And there is uh, protection or uh, the integration of the surface is as such, it is integrated, the food product remains in the shape. So here one of the major advantage of freezing is that here there is retention of nutrients and then uh, when after thawing the food product resembles very much with the initial uh, its initial uh, quality how it was. Now here what happens is that when the water is frozen, when the food product is lowered down and water is frozen, there is ice formation and there is concentration of solute and overall there is decrease in water activity which leads to a reduction or uh, very much slowing down the rate of the gro uh, growth of microorganism. So here, one of the defects which could happen here is freeze burn. What happens is that, for example, the product is, uh, there is uh, not proper covering of the product, then the surface and surface of the product is, uh, is exposed to the surrounding atmosphere. There would be sublimation of water vapor from the surface of the food product, which in, uh, in turn which causes cause its discoloration, which would in turn be prevented by proper wrapping and proper packaging of the surface of the product. Now coming to next method, food preservation by higher temperature. As the term, in, as the term indicates, high heat treatments are employed. Here, the objective is for maximum microbial uh, decrease and minimum nutritional loss. Here, we aim to heat up the product which in turn would cause maximum decrease in the microbial load, the microbial count would decrease, but with the aim that there shouldn't be too much destruction of the nutrients or enzymes, whatever is originally present in the food product. So there are, here are some different processes which are employed. For example, cooking, baking, boiling, frying or grilling. In general, this, these are the applications which are applied for the different cereal products or different bakery items or different meat products which aims to improve its digestibility and textural properties. 
now coming to other uh, method which is blanching. When we say blanching, if the temperature is here below 100 degree Celsius and here the aim is to decrease, uh, is to uh, is to inactivate the enzyme which, in, which would later be uh, required for further processes. Now other process, other uh, process is heat drying concentration, drying of concentration which is generally below 100 degree Celsius and here as the name indicates drying of concentration we tend to remove water vapor by application of heat either in an open pan or uh, in vacuum. Now next method is pasteurization which is which varies for different to different food products and it is generally in the range of 60 to 80 degrees Celsius and here the main key function is to inhibit or kill up or kill all the pathogens present in that food product. And now the appetization or canning is its name. Here the heat treatment is above 100 degrees Celsius and here the aim is to achieve commercial sterility that is all the microorganisms present be it pathogens or spore formers or such needs to be completely destroyed from the food, from the food product. Now the next method for uh, food, uh, food preservation or food protection is by decreasing its water activity content. Now what is water activity? Water activity is basically the amount of free water available or the water which is available for the action of the microorganism. Here in decreasing water activity either by freezing or drying or by addition of salt, salt, some solutes into the product we tend to uh, like remove of the water or uh, make that water binding to the solute such that it is unavail unavailable for microbial actions. It is employed for different food products like dry and salted products, grains, pulses, jam, jellies, bakery products, dry pasta, dry milk, etc. Now one category is intermediate food product. Uh, sorry, intermediate moisture foods. Intermediate moisture foods are those in which the moisture content varies from 15 to 50 percent and water activity is between 0.6 to 0.85. The speciality of intermediate moisture food is that they are shelf stable even without refrigeration. Here we use different humectants such as sorbitols, glycerols, polyglycerols, sugar, salt, etc., which binds up the water, making it unavailable for microwave action. There could also be some additional antifungal agents as some osmophilic yeasts such as aspergillus or penicillium may tend to grow in the food product. Here are list of some food products along with their water activity range. Now next method of food preservation is by, uh, by application of atmospheric modification. Here in this method what we do is that when a food product is packed in a package we tend to modify the surrounding atmosphere. It could either be by vacuum packaging or by changing of the gases composition surrounding it. So first is vacuum packaging. Vacuum packaging as the name indicates here the product here the air from the product uh, package is completely removed and causing the bag to collapse around the product before it is before it gets seized and it is called vacuum package. Like there is no presence of no air surrounding the food product. Now next is MAP which is modified atmospheric packaging. Here the surrounding atmosphere around the food product is modified by changing of the gas composition of uh, like the gas composition would be changed the amount of oxygen, hydrogen, carbon dioxide depending upon what is the food product these gas compositions would be adjusted and uh, like uh, for proper protection or preservation. Now CAP is controlled atmospheric packaging here whatever is the gas composition created around the food product it would be constantly monitored and constantly maintained. Now next is food preservation or food protection by high pressure processing. When we say high pressure there are other names of high pressure as well. High pressure processing which is HPP or HHP which is high hydrostatic pressure or pasteurization. So here as we can see in the picture here B here it is a food product which is present in the in a hydrostatic chamber there is a hydrostatic vessel in which the food product is present and then there is surrounding it is surrounded uh, by different liquid for majorly the liquid surrounding is water and so there is a pump adjusted over it which uh, changes the pressure and which, uh, when the pressure is applied by this when the pressure is applied using this piston, the pressure is uniformly distributed across the food product and uh, 